This is in reference to Billy's Talking Points Memo of July 23rd, 2014. And uh, I'd like to bring up three points, Billy, in terms of your capitalism versus socialism, if I can remember them all. I see I have a Christmas hat. I think I'll wear that at Christmas. I don't know how I got it today. But one of the things that I really like about you, Billy, is that you seem to be able to condense a whole a tremendous amount of happy horse crap in a short amount of time. It's almost like you're a poet. Every word just expands completely to another area. So in terms of capitalism versus socialism, if I could just try and bring up three points is that, number one, the insurance companies are making money because all those poor people that you're talking about that are getting insurance are going through the exchanges, but then they're also being taken care of by insurance companies. So the insurance companies are making money. And if I'm not mistaken, we're at 16000 in terms of the uh, of the stock market, and there's only 7000 when Obama took over. But again, I, 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 that's socialism, I guess, at least according to you. Uh, the second thing that I'd like to bring up in reference to, you know, you bring up this the, the takers and, and uh they're taking from the rich people. The rich people won't have enough money and there won't be enough business because they're paying too much in taxes and it's just crap. And uh, just in reference to that, you know, I mean, I don't understand where you're coming from in terms of the socialism thing. I'd like to bring up my second point, which is you know, I know that the Walmarts have each one of them has twenty five billion dollars each and they have plenty of poor people that work for them that are making the minimum wage that can't pay their bills that need food stamps that need SNAP, that need Medicare, and also those people who are on food stamps, uh, that's one, that's a great way that uh, Walmart makes money is they make a lot of money off people's food stamps. So in essence, uh, we're not paying, Walmart's not paying their people enough so that they can pay, pay for their own, own goods, so they need to get government assistance, and then they use that government assistance to buy stuff from Walmart. So I'd say, you know, we're subsidizing Walmart. I'm subsidizing Walmart right now. You're subsidizing Walmart right now. Is that capitalism? I don't know. You tell me. But <laughs> And then the third thing I'd like to bring out in reference to capitalism versus socialism in terms of the uh, Affordable Care Act. Well, actually, let me bring up another thing. Uh, this is one of the great things I really love about Republicans and conservatives, and, and you you too, because you do this just so artfully well. Something is 99, well, let's just say 95% helpful, good, helps the common person. And that's what the Affordable Care Act does. But somehow, in the wording of it, of 1,300 pages, or how many pages that it was written, that some of the wording in it was not quite artfully done, probably should have had a couple other lines in there to be a tad bit more uh, declarative of what it was. The intent was completely un completely there, but uh, someone found this little line. Oh, oh, comp comp you know, night doesn't work. It's, it's gone. There's nothing good about the whole thing. Get rid of the whole thing. So 1,300 pages. Everything's working smoothly. The exchanges are working smoothly. Six, eight million people who did not have insurance before have insurance right now. But a couple lines in there were, were not uh, well, quite as well written. And uh, get rid of the whole thing. Just get rid of it all. And uh, that's, that's how it seems to be on the conservative end. Now, on the last point that I want to bring up in terms of uh, socialism versus capitalism, you know, I... You know, I'm subsidizing you and your health insurance because Fox gets a tax deduction on their health insurance. They can claim that off. So in essence, I am subsidizing you, Billy. So, you know, you, you come in and you, you want to blame poor people. You know, and this is, this is the last great thing about the Affordable Care Act. And, 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 and what's wrong with conservative thinking? When the first ruling came out the other day, your station was a gaga in terms of, you know, we got them, this stinks, it never should have been, this is the way that it should be. And then, of course, the second ruling came out. But again, all of those people who are on all of the shows on Fox and all in the, in, in, in the media, talking about how great it was that finally someone had stood up to Obama and Obamacare. And, and the basic premise of the whole thing is that they were just ecstatic that poor people 
would not be able to get insurance anymore. That, I believe, is very hateful and very spiteful.